In your response to uh, my first, one of my first questions on this, you indicated that you weren't sure whether the CFPB or some other actor, some other contractor, could go back into all of this data and reconstruct it in a way that it was not anonymized. I actually am very concerned about that, and now we have a government agency uh, that is potentially capable, I think, of getting that kind of information that is, not, that is currently anonymized, but we just have to take the word of the agency, like consumers today have to take the word of, of private sector people that they are buying their cell phones from or working with on the internet or what have you, that they're not collecting this information in, a, in an individual specific fashion. And frankly, people don't have a high level of confidence that that's not happening. And I don't have a high level of confidence that it's not possible for the agency to get access to this information on a specific basis. So for all of these reasons about the data collection that's under, being undertaken, I simply ask you this question and then make this suggestion. Um, have, has the CFPB done an internal legal analysis about this whole data, data collection process? And uh, what I'm getting at here is that Dodd-Frank clearly prohibits the CFPB from collecting personally identifiable information. And if all of the pieces of information that the CFPB is collecting right now could be utilized to engage in personal identification, uh, then perhaps that could violate the law. But more specifically, it would be helpful to know what steps, what potential is there. Uh, I'm, I'm actually relying right now on this question on a Bloomberg article. Uh, that's, that's the extent to which I know that we know as the public about what's happening. And so I think that it would be very helpful for us to know exactly how this data is being collected, not just who's being contracted to collect it or whether it's being collected in examination processes, but how it's being collected and how it might be used. And then I think the ultimate conclusion should be reached, and that is whether its collection is in violation of the Dodd-Frank prohibition. 